they really can have you in your mind thinking that whatever the fuck they saying is right and it's not and they really feeding you the whole wrong truth and it's like you know I understand you know women if they're in certain mindsets or whatever they can believe that shit however (laughs) I'm not one of them (laughs) okay I'm not one of them and so it's just like that so it's like don't be treating me like you think you know me don't be treating me like I'm a regular ass hoe out here because I'm not okay don't be treating me like like anything like understand me for me like it's like also at the same time because a lot of things are so generalized within like the fucking society okay it's like like you know when I was younger or whatever it's like men on men are Mars Venus and women are Venus or some shit whatever the fuck and it's like that's a big ass generaliz- generalization okay it's like there's been passed on generalization since the beginning of whenever the fuck and it's like like women are supposed to be for one certain thing men are supposed to be for one certain thing and it's like no motherfucker like break these fucking generalizations out of you because I don't fall into that (laughs) okay because it's just like that I might you know it's a generalization like whatever whoever like I am as a woman is like whoever the fuck I am as a woman it's not like a big ass generalization (laughs) I don't know I don't I all these generalizations and like fitting people in a fucking box and all that stupid shit is like really dumb to me and so it's like people who operate in boxes especially like men who you know apparently be out here and be doing that shit to women because they're just in this box or whatever the fuck and it's like, no, nigga, stop doing that shit. Stop it. This smells like syrup. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> 713 H-Town. Okay. I just got some syrup smells. But not like lean syrup. Like real, like syrup. <laughs> like, I don't know. Something smells like syrup. So, yeah. That's what I wanted to discuss and talk about because it's like, who the fuck are you? <laughs> and so I just like all the women who, who I guess would think like me or something. And I'm not trying to say that because, okay, you have to get to a point of like being like, no nigga, you can't control me and all this stuff, you know, like, especially in a man's world, it like takes some deep, deep deep deconditioning and shit like that you know to re- like really get this shit out of yourself and so it's like I understand that there are women like I said who believe shit that come out of men's mouth I've seen it I've been around it at one point in time when I was younger you know I was that because again this is a man's world you literally have to notice the shit and notice it so well that it's like what the fuck (laughs) to where you deep deep deeply deep decondition your own self out of that shit and so that's something that I have done still am doing but mostly really have done already because (laughs) again I don't do that control shit and mostly men like the whole basis of like society is you know control and so (laughs) you know the whole basis of society and that was created by men Mm -hmm. so again yeah I've done that and so you know I'm just hoping that there's a lot more other women out here who who do this but also it's like you know I I just also need men (laughs) I, I hope that there's men and women who are out here like really trying to fight the the whatever the fuck this is where men deeply feel and believe that they have the power to like fully control women or people but women in a way where it's like all the mind control shit 
like people who have worked out of being mind controlled mm-hmm. that cause that's what it is that's what society is <laughs> that's what all of this is and you know I know that that anytime I say that shit I be like you know <laughs> that's a lot to say you know like on camera or whatever but it's also like I mean that shit is true cause it's like once you understand it and know it like you know that's why they have movies like because it's like people have been revealed shit and so they create the art based on what they have been seen and shown and so this shit is real it's not like fake on some fake shit you know you cannot believe it but you know it's whatever and so it's like people who fall into that shit it's like leave me alone with that bullshit i don't know i just feel like all of this came into (laughs) the mind control shit (laughs) and like how men have created society to like be either on some control shit to where so much so where it's like you are controlled so much to where you want to control other people you know and so that's where some shit is going on but it's also like under all of this control it's like not being able to like even understand shit or see into shit like see the problems like just like the fact that you want to control the narrative or the words or the whatever of a woman in in any way shape or form should be like an alarm (laughs) an alarm to you i just that's how i feel because it's just like women do a lot on so many levels and it's also like okay so say it's like you know you're talking to someone or you know women who have children or whatever I don't have kids but it's like women who have children by men and they're under this shit it's like they don't even realize that it's like you wouldn't have those children if it wasn't for that woman okay like you wouldn't have that like that your life like your life wouldn't be here if it wasn't for a woman and so it's like how do you not get that okay I was watching this Vlad just this is the end but I was watching this Vlad but not the whole thing I skipped through it but Kevin Samuels the Vlad TV thing that video that just came out because he passed or whatever but they already did it like right before he passed or some shit and so like basically he was talking about um like women have contributed to society in a way you know we've done our contributions <laughs> like human beings would not be here on earth if it wasn't for women <laughs> like it's like men really look at women and really be like what do you do like <laughs> like what is your purpose <laughs> like who are you like we don't need you like we really don't need you men really believe and feel wholeheartedly in their hearts that they could live in this whole world without women and it's like how sir how because you know once you die (laughs) and once all these other niggas die around you you know y'all are gonna be dead right huh 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 you can make children your own on your own by yourself you can do that Hmm? you can create human beings by yourself you can do that within your body you can do that oh oh okay and so I don't know but I really feel like (laughs) I don't know men are very stupid (laughs) they're dumb in a lot of ways men are very stupid and dumb in a lot of ways with all of that type of thinking i mean like right now we're going through a whole fucking roe verse way type shit and it's like what it is 2022 and we are talking about reproductive like the body women's bodies we're talking about women's bodies <laughs> still in 2022 period like we're talking about that shit on a very large scale and it's like what the fuck are y'all trying to do i don't understand i really don't understand because okay i'm gonna just put this in here i've already said a few things already but i have a podcast that i created like last the podcast has been out but this episode in particular it was put out in like 2021 or whatever whenever like so last year early or late last year middle end end of last year 2021 
basically it came out officially that white people have are no longer the majority they're a minority now okay it's not like advertised it's not loud and proud because of course they don't want you to know that but it is true it is very true and it is true and real okay when i was in middle school um middle school like no 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 it was like ninth grade i was in class in science class okay and i remember seeing this article and i was like it was like by around this time like 2022 2021 something like that and about it like at that time i was like what but to see it come to like full ass fruition is like crazy and wild but it's like i saw this article and it was like um by this date and time you know the country is basically going to look like you know mixed people or whatever that's what the country look like right now <laughs> legit and it has and white people were going to be a minority legit whatever the fuck that or article said that i saw when i was in ninth grade it literally has came true like literally that's not something that they be talking about and so I, in, in the podcast i was talking about some you know i feel like uh white people are trying to like basically stop this halt on you know women's pro- reproductive to like force women to have children because if they force women to have children then you know there's still more white people than there is you know black people um black women black whoever it's still a lot more white people and so it's like if they force them to have babies then it's like they can create more of them and that's why they're like it don't matter how the fuck they get here (laughs) it don't matter how the fuck they get here it don't matter who the fuck takes care of them We just want them here because we want to make sure that our race, (laughs) our created ass race is like still winning. And that's what I feel. And that's what I see. And that's what I, my understanding of it is. I don't fucking know if that's real. You know, I mean, saying some shit like that is really big. (laughs) That shit is really big and really fast. But it's also at the same time, like. I mean, that's what it looked like. Because it's like, why would you force... What is the purpose of fucking forcing women to have children like this? Like, it, we be already, for like, forced to, like, uh, be fucking... Like, it's already hard out here, okay? And so it's like, y'all making it harder by forcing people to have human beings that literally have to be taken care of, like water food clothing housing whatever like we just gonna have all these fucking homeless ass people and then like in 20 years you know like after this some shit like this where it's like you force some people to have babies and we just have all these fucking human beings here and it's like where are they going to go what are they going to do did they get the proper education did they get the proper knowledge like are they smart in any way shape or form or are these people just here to just be here you know I don't fucking know and so i just feel like they're just trying to recreate people <laughs> and so that's that's what i feel that's what i feel i don't know but that's what i get and so it's like what the fuck are y'all doing and so going back to just men like being on some shit it's like because you know with the whole roe v wade or whatever because you know like that justice who is a woman you know it's also like women it's like men men and women but it's like men have put so much into women's heads to where women you know think like these men and it's mostly like white men like white the white male thinking which is like whatever the fuck that is but that's been created and so it's like that that shit right there is just it's like a whole bunch of people had that shit and it's like oh my gosh and for me as a black person a black woman i just feel like that shit bothers me as a black woman to see black men especially black women black women black men black people as a whole 
have that mentality because like I said at the beginning like there's a lot of shit that I have literally gotten out of myself and pointed out and like the whole white white mentality shit that they ingrain into you I don't do that (laughs) I don't do that I don't have that no more because it's like I know that that's not me and that should not be me because white mentality is like forcing me to hate myself And it's like, the fuck? Hell nah. I love myself. I'm beautiful as fuck. I don't give a fuck what you think. And so, this video has definitely evolved. But it's also like, at the same time, it's like... I want for women to stand up. (laughs) Stand up for themselves. And like, really be out here like telling people, don't control me. Don't be trying to control me. Don't be trying to control my fucking narrative. Don't be trying to tell me what to do, what to say, whatever the fuck. Because you cannot control that shit. Leave me the fuck alone, okay? All right? Now, we can talk. (laughs) We can, you know, converse. We can do all of these things. But I need you to approach me correctly. I need you to speak to me nice, okay? And so, yeah. That's what I'm putting out there. Okay. I feel like this video was very packed with a lot of things of <laughs> things inside. And so, you know, I hope that it helps and gives some insight or whatever. Mm-hmm. Okay. I thank you for coming through. I appreciate y'all. Okay. I love you. Bye.